Good morning. I have two goals for today. The first one is to get the holes for the trucks drilled. Started this yesterday by making a SolidWorks file, but ran out of time, so I'm gonna get it done today. The second goal is to combine these two drawings, number one and number two, into a SolidWorks file so that eventually the same CNC machine that's drilling the holes can cut out a shape, this shape that you see here, into this board. I just have to check a couple more things, but I think the sketch is pretty much done. So this is what the board looks like in SolidWorks, and it's what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. You know, tail, tail, blah, blah, blah. These four circles, those represent the holes that the bolts will go through to connect the trucks to the board. And this rectangle in the middle of them, I drew that in there because that's actually going to be a cutout. That's where I cut through the board so that I can actually drop the trucks through the top of it. Um, it's called a drop through. The trucks actually come through the board and it allows the whole board to sit lower. It's more comfortable, aerodynamic. I'm going to get this printed at the tech center. Uh, it'll be one sheet of paper. So I have the drawing drawn by hand over here. This is the drawing drawn by hand right here. It's just not as precise as something created on the computer. So then I'm gonna have something printed out that'll look exactly like that. And then I'm gonna cut that out, put it on top of the core right there and cut it out by hand. I talked to the people from the machine shop and two of them said that the amount of trouble that it's going to take to go through to get the core cut on the CNC machine, it's just not worth it. I'm just going to go back to cutting out by hand. They do have a bandsaw here which will uh, increase the quality from the jigsaw that I've used in the past. Um, cut, it off, cut it out with a bandsaw, sand it down, and it'll be good.